All right, man. So today we're going to be talking about the new update. There are a few things that are different. And yes, rebounding definitely got nerfed. An enormous indirect nerf to Rocket, which we'll be talking about soon. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we're going to kick it off with the new character. Uh, we're going to start off with the stats, as always. So we're going to look at the ones that actually matter on him in particular. So first stat we're looking at is a three-point shot with 70 at base. That is six more than someone like Jessica, so make sure you keep that in mind. Uh, not completely sure how many he gets from his cells, though. Pretty sure Malorius will update that chart, and I will get that information back to y'all. So next stat we're looking at is dunk with 75 at base. That is an enormous amount of dunk, man. Uh, I believe that's the same amount as someone like Zachary. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. So his speed stat is actually kind of slow, though. So he's definitely going to be more of an off-ball of uh, small forward. But his abilities uh, imply that, that he should uh, have the ball at least most of the time, man. And we're going to talk about that when we get there. So his jump stat is 76. That's more than Zachary. But Zachary has enhanced dunk. So I don't think that actually matters as much as most people might think it would. And the last stat we're looking at is a uh, power with 45 a uh, little bit on the low side <laughs> for someone that's actually good at dunking the ball so uh, if he had just a little bit more power uh, he would probably be completely broken but dear man said this is a pretty good character uh, i also heard that you can do a sprint dunk off a turnaround pass which sounds completely broken in my opinion so let's go ahead and look at the abilities uh, first one we're looking at is Sprint Dunk. Uh, Martin also has this. And this ability is exclusive to these two characters. So let's read it. You can dunk from a further distance away by sprinting during a dribble move. So it's technically like a dunk variation of the pull-up ability. So level 2, increase success rate of dunk by 2% and block resistance by 2% and sprint distance plus 10. So that sprint distance is basically extra jump. Make sure you keep that in mind. Level 3, increase success rate of dunk by 3%, block resistance by 3% and sprint distance plus 10 for a total of 20 sprint distance 5% success rate to your dunk and 5% block resistance uh, the block resistance might not even actually matter <laughs> uh, if there's a center in there so next we're looking at turnaround pass Natalie also has this exclusive to these two characters as well so let's read it make a turn and break forward to quickly connect to other actions at level 2 dribble time reduced by 10% and at level 3 this skill can be connected after a normal dribble uh, it has to be after a single regular dribble move though so keep that in mind as well you cannot do a crisscross into a turnaround pass at least you weren't able to in the past not sure if you can right now though and like i said someone did say you can activate a sprint dunk off this turnaround pass and that's actually kind of broken in my opinion because you look at someone like martin he has to either already be there or he has to risk getting his dribble move stopped to get close enough to actually do a sprint dunk but with this character right here he has a turnaround pass which will quite literally get him to the free throw line from the three-point line and it cannot be interrupted crazy crazy combination of abilities man so next we're looking at step back shot so shoot immediately after retreating uh, you just click the aux button and this will activate yay thank you raccoon digi yet another aux ability that might be kind of broken <laughs> so level two base hit rate increased by two percent and at level three you get three percent more hit rate for a total of five percent extra hit rate uh, for people that know that don't know what hit rate is it's basically just accuracy <laughs> so five percent extra accuracy on this ability man and you're gonna do a shot after a step back let's actually watch the preview here yeah so that's basically it he just quickly does a step back and then he pulls up in your face with five percent extra accuracy and it looks like that's a pretty fast shooting animation as well and i've seen people link that to uh step backs so make sure y'all keep that in mind just a regular step back though not a dribble move into a step back i don't think you'll be able to use this after doing that so last ability is a step back so uh every shooting guard in the game has this literally every single shooting guard and he is the only small forward in the entire game that is capable of doing a step back that is not linked to an ability so look at martin he can do a step back but it has to be off a jab step look at butterball he can do a step back but it has to be off of a pump fake and dribble but with this character right here he can just jump into a step back without having to do all that extra stuff and it is beautiful man i've been wondering why no small forwards had a step back but now we finally have one so step back when dribbling can be combined with dribble move so level two step back distance plus 10 level three step back speed plus 10 and at level four you get an additional 10 distance to your step back that is the longest range step back in the entire game and increase three point shooting percentage by an additional 10 percent within three seconds after a step back uh he does 
not have a, a fadeaway three point though so at least we don't have to worry about that with this character but you do have to make sure you're being careful and keeping an eye on this man because if he does a step back and he ends up being close to the three point line and then he jumps into a uh, step back and shoot whatever the name of that ability is that's going to be 15 percent extra accuracy he's looking like fire king before the level four drift three came out man so yeah that's his abilities and his stats a very interesting character i knew he was going to have something dunk based just based off of his name but i was not expecting him to be a superb three-point shooter i was not expecting him to have a step back and i was not expecting him to have an aux so let's jump to the level fours all right, so first up for our level fours, uh, we got white on the screen. Uh, his intercepting pass is now level four, and all it does is just add 15% extra probability to intercept the ball. Uh, kind of boring, <laughs> if we're being honest here. And even with that extra probability, it's probably still going to rarely activate because you look at someone like Ayumi, she already had this, and it was still barely activating. Uh, even with 25% extra probability, still was barely happening. Full steel builds. Still was barely happening. So we're just going to see how this goes. Uh, Frank Nitty made an interesting point. They said if his level four uh, intercepting pass could be activated proactively at the level four, that would be nice. And it would probably break him. But there are a lot of broken characters inside this game right now. So I don't really think I would mind a character who's been an underdog ever since he touched the game to actually be at least a little bit broken. So let's jump to the next one. All right, so last for this season's level fours, we got Martin, and Martin now has a level four pull-up, does the exact same thing as Marcus's level four pull-up. So now he also has a 20% chance of ignoring interference when he's doing a shot using a pull-up. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. Martin player is probably going to be spamming those contested mid-shot pull-ups all the time now just like the Marcus players. So uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the change to rebounding. So when it comes down to rebounds, if you're getting boxed out and you try to jump up while you're getting boxed, instead of doing that ugly flick animation, you're going to jump up and actually attempt to grab the rebound, but your rebounding height will be reduced significantly. Make sure y'all keep that in mind. We also got some new animations for the ball when you miss. Uh, it's mostly when you do a deep mid shot. So you take a deep mid shot, there's an opportunity for one of these new animations to pop up. And the point of these animations is to nerf rebounding. So there are rebounders like Rocket, rebounders like Emma. Then you got people like um Amy and Vanessa. As soon as the ball bounces off the rim, they're just jumping up and grabbing those. But now <laughs> there are some new animations that they have to look out for. They cannot just automatically jump up grab the rebound the ball is gonna bounce in a weird way now to a point where if you try to jump immediately you will not be able to reach it because the ball is going toward the three-point line so all right man we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up y'all want to see more of this go ahead and drop a like sub to the channel and i'll catch y'all next one man